Hello, you are watching you. Today we are going to discuss about the course CPA, US CPA, which is Certified Public Accountant. We are going to discuss about the salary, duration, eligibility, exemptions, everything in detail in this video. If you are new here, consider subscribing. I'll be uploading more such informative videos quite often. First of all, what is US CPA? CPA is Certified Public Accountants. It is a professional course. Mainly you would be working, once you complete CPA, mainly you would be working in accounts, taxation and audit oriented job. CPA is a bit unique in terms of its conditions, eligibility and all. First of all, what is the eligibility of CPA? It is 150 credit hours. You will be getting confused what exactly is 150 credit hours. To make it short and simple, I would rather say 150 credit hours is equivalent to first year of your master's degree. That is, if you are pursuing master's degree and you have completed your first year and you have just enrolled in the second year, in that case, your 150 credit hours condition is fulfilled. Or else, in along with BCom, if you have completed ACCA, CA or CMA, CIMA, in those cases also, your 150 credit hours is completed. So it would mean if you are just completed, if you have just completed your 12th grade or just your BCom graduation or any degree graduation, in that case you won't meet this 150 credit hours and you are not eligible to enroll for the course of CPA. Once you complete CPA, where you would be exactly working? Of course not in Indian companies, in India itself but you can work in multinational companies, US based or UK based, also you can work in consultancy firms big fours or BPO's or KPO's as well. Alright, now let's talk about the cost of CPA. It would be roughly around 3.5 lakhs in order to complete this course. And uh, what about the salary of CPA? Once you complete US CPA, what is your average salary? The answer is around roughly around 6.5 lakhs to 7 lakhs per annum would be your average salary once you complete this course. It will of course vary depending on your communication skills, job profile and skill sets. Next point is duration. Once you complete or after completing your first paper of CPA, you have to complete the entire course of CPA within the next 18 months. If you don't do that or if you are not able to complete other papers in that 18 month, in that case, the first paper which you cleared, okay, the first paper in which you passed, it will be invalidated. Now the next point is exam pattern. In case of exam pattern, there would be some questions which would be MCQ based, others would be task based as well as written communication based questions are also there. In that case, you have to type the entire answer in your computer rather than writing because all the examinations are going to be computer based only and the exam duration for CPA is 4 hours. Now let's talk about exam centers in India. There are in total 8 exam centers in India. Earlier there, there were no exam centers in India. In that case, people who wanted to give examinations or appear for ACP examination, they have to go to US or UAE in order to appear for examination. In that case, you are lucky. There are in total 8 exam centers in India as on date. In order to clear CP examinations, you have to score 75 percentile, not percentage, it's percentile, alright? And uh, the success percentage or the pass percentage is a bit high. It's 50 percentage. In comparison to other peer professional courses, obviously, the success per percentage over here is 50 percentage, which is higher than other professional courses. Now, the point is CPA is obviously a globally recognized professional course. You can work in an other countries as well, being a CPA qualified. And talking about value additions, once you complete US CPA, the number of exemptions which you will be getting for ACCA is 8 paper exemptions. So you just need to write 5 more papers in order to complete ACCA as well. And talking about good combinations or good value additions along with CPA, in that case once you complete US CPA doing courses such as US CMA along with CPA or CFA along with CPA is a very good combo. Now the requirement of experience, obviously you should be having one year of post qualification experience in order to claim or in order to apply for CPA license. So that's it for today, don't forget to subscribe this channel for more informative videos. Do share with your friends and family so that they can be aware of such courses and they can make wise decisions for their career. Press that bell icon too so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Until next time, take care, bye bye.